Speaking of vision, let's go back now 28 years to the start of the Rex Foundation and talk about the impetus for what you've done over all those years with this great charitable organization. Mickey? Well, as I can remember, we were, we were playing lots of benefits and um, um, we enjoyed doing it. There was a need in the community and we, we filled that need. But one day our, our attorneys came to us and they said, well, you know, it's costing you a lot of money to do this, to play free and to give it all away. You need a foundation. A foundation? What do you mean, foundation? And, <laughs> and you know, so we got, you know, so that became the impetus for, um, to start the Rex Foundation, which was named after uh, one of our uh, roadies, one of our great equipment guys, um, Rex Jackson, who was always someone for the downtrodden and the guy that was, you know, on the bottom, and he was a very kind man, so we kind of named it Rex after him, and that's no, what started. we did name it, not kind of. <laughs> that's true. We, we kind of named it, and we did name it, after Rex, and that's how Rex came into being, um, and it became a, quite a vehicle for us over the years, and it's helped a, a lot of the things that kind of fell through the cracks. Uh, we didn't give large uh, monies away, mostly no more than $10,000, but it took a lot to be able to give graciously. It wasn't easy to do, you know, to, and smart, to be smart on where we gave the money to um, because there was a lot of need in the community. So Danny Rifkin, you know, our former manager, uh, was really a catalyst in bringing Rex into being. And we supported it, played many, many benefits. Of, uh, and, then, and then we gave them to multiple recipients um, over the years. And uh, one of the reasons that this event uh, became reality is that I had a conversation with uh, uh, John McIntyre a few weeks ago, uh, and we, was, we were talking about the amazing stories that accompanied the, the grants, you know, what, not just giving the money away, but what did the money do? And we thought, of, wow, you know, wouldn't it be great to have some kind of uh, um, database of the stories behind the grants? Mm -hmm. And that, that's always been, you know, in, in my world, uh, my archival world was always, you know, has been always a very important thing. Not just, you know, the recordings, but the people who made the recordings and uh, what they stood for, what the recordings were all about. And so that's what we're, we're here, besides being in this wonderful facility, and, uh, is to talk about some of the events that Rex facilitated over the years. And in my case, there's, uh, there are two major events that I, I'm, I would like to talk about and, uh, and play you the evidence of its, uh, its thoughtfulness. Uh, this evening. I don't know when that time will come, but that's what I would like to do here this evening, Bill. 